All right, are you ready for some mosaic madness? If you've been out in any of the home decor stores, garden centers, you see that mosaics are hot. They're everywhere. So let's incorporate some mosaic ideas into glass fusing. This is going to be a fun project. Not a lot of accuracy for cutting, so let's just jump right in and get started. We're going to build our project on a blank. We always start with a blank. Um, this happens to be a clear piece of glass. So we're going to use a variety of types of glass today. Here we're going to start with what we call a cut up. So we're going to remove it from its package. This has been cut for us ahead of time um, into this intricate pattern of a flower. So we're going to attach this to the center of our project. So we're going to be using a clear school glue gel. Using a toothpick to apply it, we want to just use pin points of glue. So however much that toothpick will hold, that's the right amount of glue you should be using. Excess glue can be problematic in firing. So let's just place this. Let's not do it so perfect here. Let's do it a little bit off center, just because we can. All right, now, that's our cut up. So now we're going to go to our chips. So this is, uh, again, the sheet glass that has been sliced up into little squares. Comes in lots of different colors, both oval, which is opaque, and transparent glass, both. So we're going to use this green, so it'll match our little blobby flower there. And we're just going to use, again, pinpoints of glue. So I'm going to randomly set some squares down. every which way, kind of a crazy quilt pattern here. We're not measuring, we don't care where they're going to land. We're going to fill this background space up with assorted colors and shapes of glass. So the only accurate shapes we have on this project are going to be this flower and these squares. The rest you're going to create yourself. So I think our field is pretty full of green. So now let's add some other colors. Let's just set this aside for a moment. Now we have our box of nippets. This contains small pieces of glass in an assorted amount of colors. So instead of having to use big sheet glass pieces, cutting them up, these are already pre-cut for us. So let's use a variety of colors here. I've got a bunch of different shades of blue and this pretty mauve and the green. So let's begin by just making some long strips. I'm using my glass cutter. I'm going to just condition it in some cutting oil by dipping it in and out one time. That lubricates the wheel, so when it glides across our glass, it'll give us a very smooth cut. So we're going to start at one end of the glass and go all the way to the other with a nice even pressure. So listen closely for the sound it makes. Hear that scratching? That means I had a good score line. I went from one end to the other completely. It didn't stop in between. It was a continuous motion. All right. So now I've got a score line here. Looks like a piece of hair laying on the glass. I'm going to use my running pliers to break the two pieces of glass apart. So this has a top. Notice that little line. Always look for that line. Pl bite into the glass. Line the line on the tool up with the score line. It should match. And then just gently squeeze. See how it breaks the glass right along our score line. So now I've got a manageable piece of glass to work with. So now I'm just going to randomly slice. Some will be triangular, some will be thinner, some will be fatter. We want a variety of shapes and sizes of glass here. So I've made all of my cuts quickly with my glass cutter. Now I'm going to come back with my running pliers on each score line and simply pop them apart. Fast and easy. So I'm making my own mosaic tiles. So I've got a whole bunch of those, so let's start adding those in. Just at random. Not paying any attention to 
their position, size, let the chips fall where they may. Bad pun. <laughs> so this is a great project for a whole family to sit together. It's kind of like building a puzzle. So everyone can have their own color, everyone do their own cutting, and then place them randomly around the project. Easy. You can do a monochromatic scheme, do all shades of one color, black and white. How about making something for the school team? What are your school colors? Use those, incorporate them. Be a nice wedding gift. What are the colors of the bridesmaids' dresses? The theme for the wedding, use those colors. That's the great thing about making gifts yourself. You can be personal with them. All right, let's grab a couple more colors and repeat that process, making some more little unusual shapes. Now that score, I kind of made it a little bit wavy so that my chips would end up having a little bit of a different look and feel than those mauve ones did. Cut, cut, cut. Now let's break those apart, same way, using our running pliers and just break them right on your score line. going to attach this beautiful turquoise. It's starting to take shape. Oh, I like these colors together already. I'm going to go ahead and complete this with three more shades of blue. I don't like that wavy look. I'm going to repeat that again. Look for my score line. See how interesting you can get the cuts? one end to the other with our cutting tool. Pop them apart. Almost missed one. All right, let's pop these onto the project. Pinpoint the glue. very casually dropped in place. Now as you're arranging these, make sure that you leave a little bit of space between each tile because we're going to actually grout this just the way a mosaic tile artist would do. And we're going to grout it with glass. Scoot you over. very strong color, so I'm going to use smaller pieces. So instead of running my score line across the length of this glass, I'm going to change directions and just cut myself off a couple of small pieces from the edge. That way, I'll have a nice large piece of glass for a future project. So I'm going to cut these a little bit smaller.
background is getting nice and full of brilliant colored glass. Last color, that's brilliant blue. Part. So you can see the whole family could get involved in this. One person can be the cutter, one could be the breaker, one person could add the glue, and someone else could just plop the glass into place. So a great group project. Slumber parties, scout groups. You're already thinking of what you're what a nice group to do this for, aren't you? Add a little bit of blue there. Now, just because I've cut all this glass doesn't mean I have to use it all. There's never any waste with glass fusing projects. Little pieces can be saved for another mosaic design or always make yourself a nice little piece of jewelry. Great gift. So no waste. So if you don't have enough room for some of these last pieces, just scoot them around and make room for them. Mosaic work is done. Now we need to add some grout. That guy's loose. No getting away, buddy. There we go. All right, we need to let this project dry for a few minutes. Then we're going to come back and add some frit to grout it. Okay, we're ready to grout our Mosaic Madness project. So you can see all of those beautiful little mosaic pieces. Looks like a mosaic tile, doesn't it? All right, we're going to be grouting this project. Instead of using real grout, we're going to be using glass frit. Glass frit is made from sheet glass, but it's ground up really fine, almost like putting it in a coffee grinder or a food processor or a blender or something like that, and it's ground very fine. See, it's almost like sand. Now, we're going to build a little dam with glue. So every place that doesn't have a mosaic around the outer edge as a frame, I'm going to add just a little bit of glue. This will keep our frit, or our grout, from falling off the edge. So it's just a thin little bead of glue. This will all burn away during the firing and leave the glass frit behind. All right, glue is down. Let's take a little bit of this frit out of the bottle and make it easier for us to bring it to the project. So just pour a little bit of this into a plastic cup. My habit is to always close up the bottles of frit as soon as I'm done with them. If anyone's going to knock it over, it's going to be me. So I, that's a habit. All right, so I've got some black frit, which is going to resemble grout. So we're going to start by just simply sprinkling this lightly over the whole design. And we're working on top of our grid. You could also work on top of a piece of craft paper that you could easily fold up and recycle any loose frit that you may want to save for another project.
I'm just sprinkling evenly so that I'm be sure to cover up my clear glass that is my base. That looks pretty well covered. It doesn't have to be built up as high as your mosaics are. Now I'm going to use a little artist paintbrush like a little broom and I'm just going to carefully sweep away this black fret from my surface. and just let that excess fall in the gaps. This is the fun part. See it all coming to life now? Revealing those chips. Oops, that glue wasn't dry. It'll be fine. So after you sweep away all of the tiles, get all the grout off of your tiles so they're nice and clean, this piece is ready to go into a full fuse firing. And we're going to place this object right onto a piece of thin fire paper on a dedicated kiln shelf and set it right into the kiln and give it its full fuse firing.